clean bill of health tonight for the chicken and rice guys. The local restaurant, which also runs a few food trucks, was shut down by health inspectors after E. coli contamination sickened several customers. As WBZ's Paul Burton tells us, Boston's health commissioner himself sampled the first meal today. The ovens are back on and the orders keep coming at the Chicken and Rice Guys restaurant on Washington Street in Boston. It's a good thing that they got everything like working again and everything got situated. More than a week ago, the popular Boston-based restaurant, known for their colorful food trucks, was shut down after at least seven cases of people getting sick from E. coli were linked to their business. The restaurants have been closed for the last 12 days. On Saturday, Inspectional Services Commissioner William Christopher gave the restaurant an A and was first in line to taste the food. You know, we've embargoed all the food. The food that was all within the three establishments has been destroyed. Their staff has all been tested and cleared. Uh, they had done their uh, a private sanitization of, of all three locations in Boston. I just finished lunch. As did faithful customer Ryan Vu, who comes every week. I trusted them and that I was comfortable to come back today and eat, eat again. While all three restaurants in Boston are open, their food trucks are still off the streets for now. No word yet when they'll be back up and running. A lot of waiting around, a lot of working with the health department, and a lot of just uncertainty. Today we're certain, we're open, we're ready to cook, we're ready to, to you know, serve some customers. We're excited. And so were anxious customers, ready to order. Does it make you nervous? To a certain extent, yes, because, you know, you're, you consume food, so you want, you know, when you, you, you spend your money, you get, like, healthy food. Christopher says the city has a rigorous program for all food trucks, and they are still trying to determine the source of the outbreak. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.